Guys, what is going on? It is time for the Dobbins February rod lineup. Um, I have been gone for a good amount of February, took a nice vacation with my wife um, down to Mexico. So got a little bit of a, a tan, I uh, got to sit on the beach a little bit and now I'm back to some pretty frigid weather, but we are gonna be in the 60s next week uh, here in Southwest Virginia and that is gonna move these fish super, super quick. Um, I actually just finished a, a little derby um, took third secondary points pretty much loaded with bass at this point so this next warm week is is going to be pretty rad but these are the three rods that are going to be on my deck for the rest of February and then hopefully into March we're going to get into uh, catching some big ones um, pre-spawners uh, with some bigger baits and different rods but for now these are the three that are going to be on the deck so we are going to start with our spinning rod and this is the Dobbins Champion 702 SF this is also my drop shot rod but as you guys can see uh, this has a 2.5 Demiki armor shad on it this is a must-have bait in the winter. Right now, all the shad are literally stunned, dying. There's seagulls everywhere. Bass are choking um, the little, you know, little bait, two to four inch bait um, that's just kind of stunned at the surface. So I'm dropping this right on their heads. Um, little twitches are holding it perfectly still. Nasty 3,000, 16 pound braid with a uh, seven pound sniper leader. Smaller line better. This is a super finesse tactic, but this catches a ton of fish in the winter. Um, and that 702 is great for dropping it right next to the trolling motor nice and short. So that's the first one. Next one is obviously a must have. Everybody knows you throw a jerk bait uh, in early spring and uh, it's only gonna get better from here. So this is the Dobbins Champion 684. Um, newer rod for me, I just got it a couple months ago. I, I normally throw a 704 and I just kind of put that one for my deeper jerk bait. So, um, this one has been a powerhouse, handles big fish, no problem, stripers, I've got plenty of big stripers on this. Corrado DC, uh, 10 pound sniper on this. Um, yeah, just a pretty standard uh, springtime jerkbait setup. Great rod, if you're uh, questioning that shorter rod, do not, it is phenomenal. And the last one, which does not have a bait on it, but I will show you guys. Um, this is not a champion, could be a champion. This is just one of the earlier rods that I got from Dobbins. It's a 734C. This is a straight utility rod. Um, I use it for smaller jigs. I use it for 3.8 or bigger Kytex. Uh, what I used it for today is an underspin, and it's just a really, really good all around rod. You could literally throw pretty much anything on this rod. Um, that's within, you know, half ounce I wouldn't go much more than a half ounce on it but uh, it's just an awesome utility rod so great first one to pick up it's just got a Corrado K on it did go with some lighter line on this I was throwing 12 pound uh, Sunline sniper on this with the underspin and for anybody that doesn't know what an underspin is um, this is a much bigger one than what I was throwing but basically it's a, a minnow style bait it's got a blade on the bottom and uh, just kind of dragging it on the bottom, not really not really swimming it too much, but the couple that I did catch uh, absolutely annihilated it. So that's the Dobbins Rods uh, lineup for February. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have questions on any of the rods, let me know. Check out DobbinsRods.com and uh, hopefully spring's right around the corner.